Hello again, it's Keith with Bulletproof RC. Thought I would make another video and give you guys an update on the one tenth Yeti build. I uh, had another box of parts come today. Um, still waiting on a number of parts. Uh, hopefully by the end of this week, maybe early next week, I'll get those in. And I can actually start building this uh, kit. Definitely excited to start. Um, let me show you what I have. I went over a few parts in the previous video, but I'll kind of resume where I left off last time. I was on Asia, Asia T's website and saw several parts from Boom Racing. Um, I don't know a lot about Boom Racing, but I bought GPM from Asia T's and the quality was there with the Asia T's, I mean the uh, GPM products. You know, I'm just as impressed with the Boom Racing. The machining of these parts, now of course I haven't started building yet so I don't know what the fit and finish is, but they appear to be top notch. I also don't have any idea what the grade of aluminum is, but they seem to be up there with GPM and even Vanquish as far as I'm concerned. In fact, the Vanquish stuff seems to be softer aluminum than GPM, in my opinion. But uh, I know Vanquish is high quality, so just wanted to give that little opinion. But again, that's the Boom Racing part number for the rear four-link mounts. Uh, also from Boom Racing, I have upper shock mounts. And as you can see, the part number there. Not much to say about these. They look great. And I've got a motor mount from Boom Racing. There's a part number. And I like this product as well because it comes with the center and the center uh, ring that the motor mounts to along with the actual motor mount as well. So anyway, it's all together. And here's what I was undecisive over. And this is the Boom Racing rear axle set. And... Uh, one thing I liked about the Boom Racing offering is that everything is included. When I was looking at the Vanquish um, rear axles, there were so many additional parts you had to buy. And for one thing, this is my first solid aluminum rear axle I've ever purchased. And I didn't want to get it and not have everything I needed. And you had to buy the bearing insert separate and the lockout separate the uh, link mount separate the upper truss separate and this just all came together and again you know i mean i, I like the look of the vanquish better but this seems to be a very solid unit so i'm excited to see how this turns out uh, this entire set with everything included was i think a little over a hundred dollars so with the uh, vanquish stuff you would have had I guess close to 150 by the time you got by, done buying everything, or maybe more than that. Um, next, I have the GPM uh, aluminum, what do they call this? They call it a front bulkhead, but it's basically the front gearbox. It assembles differently than the actual axle, axial uh, plastic one, uh, but I've, had, I've got two of these in my axial XO, and they're great. Uh, they they keep the gear mesh between the pinion and the diff correct and you just don't have to worry about the flex you get from the axial plastics. Uh, one thing about the axial drivetrain that I noticed on both the XO and the Yeti XL is that the plastics flex and I think it causes improper gear meshes and that's why you have so many gear problems in the axial high speed vehicles. Um, these are Vanquish. Uh, hubs, or should I say hexes, uh, there's your part number on those, I uh, just bought those so they would match up with my Vanquish hubs that I purchased, which I, by the way, I actually have mounted the hubs up on the, uh, on the wheels, well, partially mounted, I found out that the Vanquish hubs did not come with any hardware, and they require 440 screws, I had a couple on hand, but not enough to, to completely assemble the hubs onto the wheels. Uh, but anyway, I ordered some more 440 screws to finish it out. But I wanted to mention these GPM wheels had 
smaller holes uh, than 440. I had actually had to drill them out a little larger uh, to make room for the 440 screw to pass through. These were designed to be used with the screws. I, I don't know what the size, I need to look in the manual, but the axial wheel screws that mount the hub were quite a bit smaller than 440. I mean, nothing wrong with going up a size in a screw and drilling out a wheel is not a problem. But anyway, just thought I'd mention that for anyone who is planning on using GPM wheels and Vanquish hubs like I did. Speaking of wheels and tires, I'm going to show you these BF Goodrich tires that I ordered. They're Proline. Um, I've already pulled the foams out because the foams were literally open. They're open cell and they were huge. They were crammed in there and literally the center portion where you, of the foam where you put the wheel in was just so small. You would have had to cram. It, it would have been ridiculous trying to get a bead lock together with a, such a huge foam. The foams for uh, the, these tires were as big as my Savage XL foams were in in the tires that I mounted on those wheels. I mean, it's ridiculous, but I ordered some Deuced Wild uh, close, close cell foams uh, for these. Uh, they were recommended over at the RC Network with Rich, and um, I thought I would try those. I've got a set of aluminum wheels uh, from Dehawk ordered for these, these tires. The compound's great on these guys. Uh, hang on, I'll show you the part number. Part number is right there, 10119-14. And they seem to be high quality. Of course they are from Proline. Uh, next on the list is a few Robinson Racing parts. Uh, this is a, I believe it was 18 tooth. I had a, um, a 16 comes with the kit. I already had a 17 and I just bought an 18 just in case I wanted to go up on gear and I have no idea if that will create motor heat or what, but I'm gonna be doing more bashing with this car than crawling, so I thought I would go with a speed gear. Um, this right here is the uh, the idler gear. It's hardened steel from Robinson Racing. I don't know if this is needed or not, but it just seemed like a good idea to build it right the first time. Uh, then I have also the um, extra hard output machined uh, with flat set. Anyway, it's the center, basically the front and rear drive shaft mounts to this shaft. It's all one piece design. There's no shaft and pins to assemble and it's extra hard. So it just, once again, seemed like a good idea. Um, that's the part number for that. Um, a lot of folks I've seen on RC Crawler forums has have the Robinson Racing Gen 3 uh, slipper uh, spur. So I thought I'd go with that. It comes with the center bearing versus the plastic one that's in the yeah, one-tenth Yeti. Um, I was, I was, if I had used the plastic spur I, or the stock spur, I would have upgraded the bearing. I don't think the Spur is uh, plastic in the kit. I think it's metal as well, but it was in the Yeti XL. But anyway, definitely a good thing to have a bearing in the middle of that. I think a lot of problems with the spur on RC crawler forums was due to the fact that there's a plastic bushing here. And eventually when that wears out, you would lose your gear mesh between your motor pinion and your spur. Not a good thing definitely questionable some of the uses of plastic that Axial does on some of their products. The, the XL actually has some plastic bushings uh, that made up the, um, the pinion to the uh, differentials front and rear. That's a problem too because that, that you know plastic with heat and cold changes shape drastically, wears out easy, and that all that affects the pinion mesh. Anyway, this is the Hot Racing front sway bar set from uh, Hot Racing. It's uh, there's a part number there. Not much to say about that other than maybe to give to give the vehicle some stability. And just to make sure everything matches up the right way, 
Uh, this is the aluminum rear sway bar set for the Yeti. So hopefully that will mount up good and perform well. So once again, guys, I have quite the parts collection that's building up here. Um, I still have some aluminum rear links. Still have um, a center aluminum transmission case from Boom Racing coming. Have uh, front uh, hubs and knuckles in aluminum coming. And there's a, um, I forgot the name of it. It's uh, basically a front tow block. That's what it is, but it goes in the front end under the bumper. And the pins that hold the A-arms in place, I've got aluminum one of those coming as well. An aluminum shock tire mount coming. And I think I'm forgetting some stuff because there's more than that coming, guys. This is going to be a lot of option parts installed at the get-go. But I'm looking forward to the, uh, the Yeti build. And um, there will probably be another video before I actually start the build showing you the remaining parts. And uh, anyway, I'm hoping this turns out good because quite an investment. Anyway, good day, guys.